It's great, a real buzz. You know, when you think about the last time a passenger steam locomotive ran on the underground on this section was 1905. That was a long time ago. The interesting thing about running a steam locomotive on the underground, of course, I think a few people forgot that that's what the tube stations were designed for in 1863. So when the locomotive pulls up uh, at the front of the platform, there's a hole for the steam to vent out into the atmosphere. And most of the route we're taking is almost as it was in 1863. Well, we wanted to find some uh, event around which the celebration of the 150 years could, could coalesce, really. And the obvious thing to do, um, uh, not without its problems, was to run a steam train along the original route from Paddington to Farringdon um, and to commemorate that first train, first public service on the 10th of January uh, 1863. And we had a, uh, a Victorian carriage body uh, in, in our collection that uh, sorely in need of uh, some TLC, uh, some restoration. Uh, and the Quainton uh, Road collection had met number one the last locomotive built by the Metropolitan Railway at its Neesden Works in um, 1898. Um, and so we thought, well, we'll put the two together, we'll restore the both of them. Uh, the lottery pitched in and helped us with a carriage, and we did a fundraiser for, um, for, for, for the locomotive. You know, when we did the test run a couple of weeks ago, as we kind of pulled out of Earl's Court station with a lot of noise of the steam engine kind of up ahead of you and went into the tunnels and smelt the steam coal you know wafting in through the windows and looking out the windows and not being able to see the tunnel sides uh, because of smoke you just had that kind of little inkling of what what the every day in the in the 1860s 1870s you know might might have been like uh, to be hauled uh, around on a steam locomotive.